Hey guys, this will be another episode of Through a Pathologist Eyes, which is basically a series meant to see how a pathologist approaches a case. And uh, this particular case is uh, a very small one and a very simple one at that, and is of a, a 35 year old or 36, that range, uh, year old lady who had uh, complaints of uh, vaginal itching and uh, a kind of whitish discharge from the vagina and uh, in fact uh, there was also a fishy kind of an order and i think many of you might have already guessed diagnosis from the history itself so that is why history is very important it's important for a clinician it is important for a pathologist it is important for everyone in the medical field microbiologist or whatever so i say this because many of you uh, will be who are seeing this uh, might be clinicians or uh, future clinicians and uh, it is a request to you uh, that we we really require clinical information and um, I hope uh, when you send a sample next time you'll write more of a clinical history and uh, there's a joke that goes veterinary pathologists uh, get more history than uh, people who look into human cases so I hope uh, there will be a change in that and people who watch this at least who are becoming clinicians or future clinicians um, means uh, seeing patients you please uh, send some kind of history along with the samples anyway coming back to the case so this uh, what you're seeing here uh, in the middle that is the microscopic appearance of uh, this case I have already put this uh, slide uh, under my microscope and it is now at a 40x magnification that is basically 400 times magnified because uh, the objective is 40x and the eyepiece is 10x so on mul multiplying it will be 400x that is 400 times magnified so this uh, cell we are here seeing here this 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 and all they are uh, superficial squamous cells that are seen in the uh, cervical smear usually in uh, in, uh, in uh, women of uh, reproductive age groups and um, there is uh, very evident pathology in this slide uh, one thing is this kind of a background this is what we call a filmy background will which I will show right now and then there's many inflammatory cells out there all these are neutrophils because we can see the lobulations see the lobulations can be seen so these inflammatory cells many of them are there and they are neutrophils and then there is this kind of a filmy background and now what is this filmy background me background is this and I think a 90s 80s uh, kids or 90s kids and the generation before that uh, they'll be able to appreciate what a filmy background is nowadays I don't think uh, we see this kind of a background in the TV this basically is a background that comes when the uh, reception is very low when the signal TV reception TV signal reception is kind of very bad and this usually used to happen many times in the old uh, olden days now it is not uh, i don't think uh, i haven't seen the recent past uh, so this is this kind of a background when the tv signal is kind of very weak this is called a filmy background and uh, if you look closely uh, here the density is kind of less but still i think it is uh, quite appreciable in this, uh, in this case see here this is this uh, very granular or very tiny granule like appearance uh, is what you call a filmy background usually you can see more of it but in this particular case it is a little less so if you have more of this kind of an appearance it will be more of that filmy that is what you call a filmy background and then uh, what is this this cell if you look the cell borders cannot be appreciated basically on top of that cell the same kind of a background is there or uh, that uh, that material is there uh, what is that material that is called sorry that is uh, uh, that is usually gardenella vaginalis bacterium uh, gardenella uh, vaginalis so back this basically if many of you have already understood this is a case of bacterial vaginosis bacterial vaginosis presence with itching in the vagina uh, then there is um, a whitish kind of a discharge then there is a fishy odor so this is basically uh, what you call bacterial vaginosis and one of the most common organisms is Gardnerella vaginalis and it's actually it's not the organism as such that is causing the uh, condition but it is a clue that means maybe other organisms are causing and this is a clue this means when the normal 
normally what you see is a lactobacilli in the cervical smear uh, so in the in the normal women the lactobacilli dominates the uh, cervical area or the vaginal secretions that kind that is what is dominated but when there is uh, any 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 uh, physiological change sometimes this lactobacilli that we see normally uh, can be replaced by uh, cocobacilli like this what you are seeing the, here uh, example is uh, Gardnerella vaginalis and that we call shift in flora digestive so uh, there is a shift in the normal flora of the uh, area and then this is called shift in flora suggestive of bacterial vaginosis that is the diagnosis that we give so what we see is this kind of um, normal lactobacilli which I will show uh, in a few moments so normal lactobacilli Will be replaced by a cocobacilli, uh, most prominent of which is the Gardnerella vaginalis, and these have an appearance which kind of looks a uh, filmy of the olden days, and these will come on top of the cells on the top of the superficial cells, and sometimes they obscure the cell borders. You see, this cell, the cell border is not very evident; it is obscured by numerous uh, of these bacilli. So these cells are called closed cells. Now closed cells, why? Because the people first who uh, described the, uh, this condition, that is a Gardner and Duke, and uh, in their paper they told the closed cells they are sine qua non, or they are essential for a diagnosis of bacterial uh, vaginosis. Uh, so that is why it is called as clue because it is a clue to the diagnosis. So that is why they are called as closed cells. So basically what you have to understand is these are the closed cells then there is the filmy background the normal uh, bacterial flora is replaced by this flora and uh, there is a lot of inflammation which is uh, seen uh, by the neutrophils that we are seeing here so again here also uh, there is a lot of that granular kind of appearance which is basically due to this cocobacilli again here this is the same thing I uh, move a little bit here all these cells that uh, you're seeing is the superficial uh, squamous cells that are shed uh, from the uh, uh, epithelium and uh, during a pap smear collection they come uh, come along and then they, they, they are smeared onto the glass slide and uh, stained pap nicola stain by the way, pap stain is one of the best uh, ways to detect or screen uh, cervical ca ca carcinoma. And uh, from the advent of uh, pap uh, staining and pap smears, uh, cervical carcinoma incidence has uh, come down drastically all over the world. So it is really a, a big thing or a huge uh, contribution to the human society as a whole because many at many places in the uh, cervical can cancer was a very big problem but now it is coming down in everywhere everywhere this uh, incidence is coming down basically well, main, mainly due to the screening that is a pap procedure so I'll show you another slide the case uh, just to show you the lactobacilli that normally see the lactobacilli So basically these are lactobacilli. If you remember the previous case, there was none of these. So this normal flora that is con constituted by the lactobacilli is replaced by the cocobacilli, main one which is Gardnerella vaginalis. 
and this condition is called bacterial vaginosis so in bacterial vaginosis there is a shift in the flora in the flora that is normal lactobacilli normal flora is replaced and again you, you can see that uh, superficial squamous cells can be seen even in this case so they are the ones that are normally shed from the uh, vaginal walls and also cervical walls so that is uh, about it uh, basically there are two uh, other things in vaginal wart smears can be taken but this is a cervical smear and um, so that is about it that's a very simple topic uh, Bacterial vaginosis, the things to remember for MBBS people, what is to be remembered is the fishy order, then the whitish kind of a discharge, itching, then uh, women of uh, usually of reproductive age group, and then um, the clue cells and a filmy background, mainly clue cells. So that is it. Uh, I hope it was uh, useful. Thank you.